Look at the size of this. I didn't know lizards yeah, could glide. Yeah. Good morning and welcome back to Borneo, welcome back to Mulu National Park. We're just fueling up on a little bit of breakfast in our favourite cafe before we head out onto the river in search of bats, caves, crocs, god knows what else. Are you excited for the day, Tills? And I just had the best start to the day. Roti and homemade coconut jam. It was almost like a lemon curd, but coconut. Well, that sounds very nice. We're going to finish our food, then we're heading out onto the river. Very low down. It's very low down. Cool, isn't it? Even more close to Crocs. <laughs> Alright, so after about 20 minutes of cruising downstream on the longboat, we've arrived at a traditional Mulu village, sort of, more of a shop. Oh, they got blow guns. Oh god. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck, that's what I'm saying. You're not a natural, are you? Are you cute? It's the hardest thing ever. Here we go. I'm for the bird. Is he gonna get... Oh, oh you got it in though, well done. <laughs> These things are so cool. They are, they are actually it's really like cool. They hunt in the jungle, they've aimed them up trees of birds. Here we go. Rats. That was a good aim, you just needed more power. Too much uh, ganja. That is being cut out. Right, we're leaving the Mulu village. We bought a mini blowgun. A little necklace. Tilly also somehow managed to convince me into her buying a pounds. necklace. Two pounds. They help the local community as well. The currents are strong. Then we're going up river as well. Right, we're entering the Clearwater Cave System. The largest cave system in Southeast Asia, the eighth largest in the world, 220 kilometers of cave, river, and danger. I don't think we're going 220 kilometers in, but our first obstacle, and it looks like a big one, is this staircase. It's like we're on Mount Kinabalu again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's dark heads. Can you put your torch on, please? Pretty please. Oh, thanks. Wow, this is cool. This is the clear water. And a bit of a garden of Eden up there. I love those bits that come through, they're not collapsed. It really does look clear, doesn't it? It's huge in here, this is a good one. This is good This one. is good one. I like this one. Wow. <laughs> so all these birds are swirling around the hole because that's where insects come in. So it's the best place to feed, and obviously they can also go out into the forest whenever they want. Lovely little halfway house. Female is two times bigger than this. If you try to attack this insect, you can see the leg full of spikes. They will move the leg, you get in. Oh, wow. So ends the clear water caves. Time for a swim. Yeah, we're gonna swim in the clear water I'm now. I'm actually swimming already in my own sweat. I know, I'm ready. I'm ready to get in some nice clear water. That was cool though, I enjoyed that cave. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, like, these are the best shoes I've ever bought. I might walk them in London. You can tell we're getting old if Tilly's saying these are the best shoes she's ever bought. They're just so grippy. And I also like the fact you don't have to tie the laces. You're a grandma. I am. Right, down to the clear water. How many times have we said clear water today? <laughs> <laughs> I 
cold? <coughs> it's okay. The uh, temperature of summer in the UK. Yes. I know. It's as warm as it ever gets in the UK. This is summer. Yeah. <laughs> I know they really Especially in the Highlands. They live in the south of It feels cold. exactly like this. Philly's having a little climb out of the pool. So nice and cold in here. I feel like I've needed this for weeks. <laughs> like a little ice bath. So the water flows out of the clear water caves. I think from here, maybe from there, into this pool. Which is why it's so clear and cool and fresh. It's like swimming in a giant mineral water bath. Borneo's finest mineral water. So clear though compared to the rest of the river like we went on the boat today. Nice sandy bottom as well. Is that what you've got? What a cool place. I thought I'd be swimming in a Borneo jungle river, but funny old life, eh? Alright, we've left the caves and we're heading back to Park Headquarters. I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. Um, so it's quite up in the air if we can make it back in time for what we want to do. We'll see. We'll end up doing something fun, I'm sure. Won't we? Join your custom creeps. about right in time to do what we wanted to do which is the canopy walk which is two hours over the jungle on these little like uh, drawbridges what's happening I don't know oh I thought you saw something down here. I want to check the cafe out oh of course you do um so yeah we're gonna do that it starts in like 10 minutes perfect we just got on it our tour guide from the other day was in there he sorted us out he's a boss yeah the guy was like, oh, I don't know. The first guy was like, oh, I don't know. Let me ask Let me ask this guy. And then it was the guy. And I'd already spoken with him. And he was like, yes, you can come on it. We missed that tour guide today, didn't we? Yeah. No offence to our tour guide in the caves. He was very nice, but spoke really quietly. Like, insanely quietly. That's why they, you probably didn't see much footage of him speaking. Because I would stand like a metre from him. I still couldn't hear what he was saying. Be careful. Maybe I miss it. The pit viper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are just mm -hmm. on these trees. Sometimes they are. How big are they? The whole snake. No, no they are thick. The size of the body, yeah. but maybe the size is maybe. Oh, big then. Okay. And they are green. And they are really green, and it's really hard to see them in the in the wild. Yeah. That's why okay. I don't really like them. No. Because it's hard to see them and they are poisonous. Yeah. Even though I know the feel, I don't want to try it so soon. It's not worth it. No. <laughs> but my brother already tried the plant, so I know it's working. But Your brother tried it? Yes, so he got bitten and the, yes, the plant it, cured it, him? Accidentally bitten by the snake and they used the plant. You be careful, Nelson. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God, it's really wobbly. Ah. It's really wobbly. It is wobbly, and now I don't want to hold on to the rope because of the pit vipers. Oh, the river's down there. Really? Yeah? You like it? Kind of, but it's like, I'm scared of this bridge. And then there's like just deadly animals everywhere. So it's like, kind of, you know. Yeah, it's, it's quite a mixture of things going on. There's the height, there's the rickety old bridge. There's the danger of, the genuine danger of pit vipers everywhere. They'll kill you in six hours, unless you take Nelson's cure. And it's raining.
Nelson was just saying that 70% of the forest in this area has already been destroyed for logging. Um, they clear it for logs and then they turn it into palm oil farms. They're now coming for this area of the forest as well, which is protected, but they'll do anything, the government, to try and um, yeah, get it, which is just so sad. So sad, 70% of this forest is gone already. Humans are just the worst. It's quite slippy now, isn't it? Yeah, that's what you said to be careful. Built in 2003. And is it, it gets maintenance? Yep, annually. Oh, nice. Annually. What month? <laughs> January. January, okay. January, okay, good. We'll take that. This one's a bit wobbly. No! Oh Wait, God, last week so your sorry. house caught on fire? I just come back visiting my house and yeah. What happened? Accident, maybe. Some, someone might forget the fire or electric short circuit. So everything mm -hmm. was destroyed? Totally. No, no. So, yeah. So I what know. is happening now? Yeah, they do. The government has provided us with little help. Okay. But yeah, all the things that pass from generation to generation. Yeah. Oh yeah. like, my God, I'm so sorry. So sad. Like a blowpipe. Yeah. That is being um really old. That is like from my father when he is um young. He used that blow pad. and when he had a wife, he used that blow pad. and until now, gone. Oh my god. So this ironwood tree is over 2,000 years old, and that's why the trees in this forest are so sought after by logging companies, because they're so old and strong, and it's like the most valuable, some of the most valuable wood in the whole world, which is... It's crazy, I don't even know a tree could be over 2,000 years old. Ironwood tree. The longer it lives, the denser, the stronger, the darker the wood becomes, and the more appealing to those evil loggers. This one's insanely high. Isn't it? Yeah. Should we dive into the river? When there are three of us on it as well, it wobbles more. All the branches are on one side. Yeah. So I think that is not a coincidence. So they always I point in the direction mean, of the river. I think it has something to do with the river. Because you can find them always on the river then. Trying to get to the water maybe. I think I, we, we never know really what... No. So many mysteries in the jungle. That's what you want to see. Oh my god, this does move. Yeah, what Nelson was just telling us about the hornbills as well is in this region, they hardly see any of them anymore because they've been hunted for hundreds of years by the local tribes with blowpipes, like what we saw earlier today. Um, and to get the, especially the rhino hornbills who have the normal beak and then the massive horn coming up, it was like a sign of skill and basically a status symbol to be able to hit one with your blowpipe. And then they would yeah, wear them on their heads, kind of decorate themselves. And now in the modern age, people hunt them with guns, which is a lot less skill but for their parts to be sold on the black market. And also, sometimes they're captured alive. Nelson said they're sold for $160,000. So like exotic, private collections. Sorry, that tree was, it was just moving. I thought it was a snake, um, which is, yeah, really sad. Which why there's a lot less hornbills in this part of Borneo than in others.
they've basically been hunted to extinction. This bridge you have to go one at a time, apparently it dips too low. And I guess if more than one of us goes it will just collapse and we'll fall into the river. It's okay Nelson? It's good? Ah, okay. See what? Get a good view of the strangler fig trees. So the fig trees are really important both to the hornbills and the orangutans. The hornbills eat the figs and spread the seeds, but because they've been hunted to near extinction, the seeds are being spread less, less new fig trees are growing, and orangutans also love setting up their nests in the fig trees, which all just disrupts the okay. ecosystem of the jungle. And yeah, just contributes to the fuckery of the animals here. You got it. Should we go together? No. It's so fucking high. Baby, don't come. I'm not. Oh. It's, it's like just you. dipping low, I think. Bloody hell, this thing's dodgy. Wow, well, that one. That with, cures you from the pit viper. With the thorn? Yes. This, should we take some? <laughs> and what do you, you know? We know where it is. We'll come find you. <laughs> yeah, I do bring mine with me. And, and you eat it and you rub it in the bite. Mm. More effectively if you eat it and also use the bug. Come across a lizard on the way back. Look at its feet. I know. Oh. Flying one. Flying one? Yeah, they're more like, like gliding, but it can glide from tree to tree. It's it can glide from tree to tree. And it's really hard to do them. I didn't know lizards could glide. Yeah, specialty in Borneo because the tree is really tall. So. Oh! I've right, just got back from our really, really amazing canopy walk with Nelson, who's essentially the biggest legend in this entire park. Amazing. We've got a load of food that we won't bore you with the description of. I'm sure Tilly wants to. Deep fried egg plum. Deep fried egg plum. Jungle, jungle fern, chicken satay. And what's this? Laksa. Laksa. Yeah, Nelson just... I couldn't obviously get it all on camera or even begin to tell you how much knowledge he imparted on us, but like... His family are basically from the tribes who live in the jungle. There's only eight people out there now left. Three families who still live 100% off the jungle, deep, like 40 kilometers into the... It was just, it was just, the stuff he was saying was just so cool, wasn't it? That was amazing. So much interesting knowledge. They only that come one... out once, the people only come to the villages once a month just to like see how everyone's doing and to let them know where they are in the forest because they always move. You know, just, just amazing the stuff he was saying. It was so interesting. It's having someone, a good guy, compared to a not good guy. Again, I'm not trying to be rude to the man we had this morning. And it was a big group. It's definitely a lot better when it's just two of you and the guy. It was just made the, it really made the experience, didn't you it? You learn so much, don't you? I learned so much. And it was all so interesting. Anyway, we're gonna eat all of this, and, and then we're running, run. we're running to the bats observatory. Fingers crossed, we're gonna see the bats today. I believe. So look at this jungle Carlsberg I just got. That's so cool. Local artist edition. It's got butterflies on it, mountains. Oh, it's a Mount Kinabalu one. Is it going to say that? Celebrate Sabah and Sarawak pride. That's amazing. I wonder why. Oh. I don't know, but I almost don't want to drink it. But I will, so I spent 10 ringgit on it. Leaf? Or butterfly? Butterfly or leaf? Right, we're walking to the bat cave now. We're going to sit there for three hours, whatever it takes. Pray we see a load of bats. Do you believe? I believe. Odds on we see the bats. Three, one and three. Three, two, two one, one, two. Three. We're fucked. Look at the size of this. That's longer than this. Put your arm next to it for size reference. Oh, here we go. Here's a big mineral water bottle. Well, you've got to turn right now and do me like that, don't you? 
Look at that. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Crazy. Never a dull day in Borneo. Just the amount of, it's just like on, everything's on steroids, you know? Yeah, it's true. It's like there's just steroids in the water here. Antiaris toxicaria is this tree which Nelson, our legendary guide, who I think I'm going to propose to later. Um, you can't even see, we'll zoom in now, zoom. These markings are basically where the indigenous people who live in the forest take out bits of the tree to make poison to tip their blowgun arrows with. It'll kill a human in two minutes. Two minutes. And they mark the tree for good luck before a hunt. Do they? Every time. That's what Nelson said, wasn't it? Did he say that? I didn't hear it, but... I think maybe that's the Carlsberg talking. Anyway, that's the tree you get the uh, poison arrows from. I think we should have got here earlier. The most classic you thing ever. You say that, but when we got out the canopy walk, you didn't even want to walk back to the centre and get food. You wanted to come straight here. <laughs> we would have already been here for an hour already. What have you got to say to that sweaty mess? I'm so hot and sweaty, it's a joke. Right, so that's the cave they come out of. We're going to be here for three hours probably. Hopefully, it'll be worth it. I can't believe I got a All right, we've been in like an hour. There was a slight drizzle. Stop raining now though, it still looks cloudy. It's very grey. Conditions aren't great, but last time we were here, conditions were perfect and we saw hardly any bats, so. You can't predict it. You believe? I believe that. I'm just snacking on almonds. It's nice to have a sit down, to be honest. We've done a lot of walking today. Fingers for the bats. Tilly's in a poncho, is this a good sign or a bad sign? Not a good sign. I think these have got mold in it's about 45 minutes till it's time to give up. We've been in what, an hour and a half? I think our luck's run out. Bats coming? No bats are coming. The weather is summing up our mood right now. Everyone's leaving. No bats in sight. This was our last chance to see the bats. Bat, everyone. It's a bat. bat. Here it is. It's a bat. It's a bat. The exodus has begun. There's a bat. There's a bat. There's one bat. Oh my god! I don't believe it. It's the greatest day of my life. There's going to be four million bats and maybe one. It's not gone well, has it? And we've got a night walk in about half an hour in the pouring rain. Oh, well, I like the rain. Also, look how cute this is. Mm. This is a life-size bat. Imagine this big. Size of my little finger. Smaller. Uh, where are the bats? Where are the bats? The only mammal that can fly. I was saving that uh, fact for when yeah. the bats came, but they're not coming. The only mammal that can fly. There and it is, there it is, the bat. Hey, look at this. What the fuck's that? A bat. Ooh. Right, it's time for us to leave. We've got one bat for our uh, three hours of waiting. Oh well, you can't have everything in life. Look at this carnage. There's a whole ant colony on this. Big ones. Oh well, there's so many in that gap. Oh, I feel like they're getting on me. The night war hasn't even started. This is just the journey back to HQ. We're trying to basically run because we stayed so long waiting for bats that never came. This right here just sums Borneo up. Two fucking trippy mating, whatever the fuck these are, millipedes, and then this thing. Like, what the hell is that? It's like a spider with two giant antennae. This place is nuts. It looks like the same species we saw in the, the cave yeah. earlier, maybe. I mean, it really looks like a stick, doesn't it? 
the night walk begins. Why does it have smell? It's like the spores. Yeah, we have uh, like a uh, acid, acid in the in the down here. Yeah. Wow. yeah. How poisonous is it? It's poisonous. Kill you. Yeah. Kill humans. It's not kill human, but you uh, can be not really good. It mm. not good. Yeah, you feel like a uh, uh, people drunk, more drunk. Mm. Yeah. Drunk. Yeah. You if Let's you take eat, some now. come out. You eat, come out. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. Yeah, even the animal also not going here. Yeah. The spores are just coming off it constantly. This one is huntsman spider. It's is pregnant? No, no, it's bring the egg. Egg sack. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, oh he hasn't got a web. Yeah, okay. Carries them around him everywhere. So this is a small one. Still small. This wow. is the biggest stick insect I've ever seen. Yeah, it's about the size of your forearm. Huge. And it has a poisonous bite or it's... It's bite. It's bite is yeah. poisonous. To humans? Yep. Wow. So camouflaged. So mm -hmm. cool. Come by the river. Why are some spiky and some not spiky? Because we have a lot of species insect, yeah? We have also stick insect, we call that flying stick insect also. That one he can fly. Oh wow. Yeah. This one is Barameka, huh? The fox. Oh it's a big one. Oh yeah. Big froggy. They're doing the sound is Female, yeah? Not male. Female. Oh. He called the male during the meeting. Oh. Yeah. So trying to call the males towards them. What? What? Yeah. It looks like it's almost stuck to the tree. It's so flat. Yeah. That's it probably doesn't move much. A really small one. It's about the size of your fingernail. Black color, that one is male. It has six babies behind it in that little hole. That's why it's just chilling, it's just guarding them. Fucking hell. What does it eat? Oh, not, uh, like a tarantula can eat the, like a small insect, yeah? Small insect. Lizard and frog? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, in two weeks, I going to check after that two weeks, I going to check. So I, you go I, into the hole. Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to the hole. Crazy. I see, <laughs> I see from down here, and I see there's a six or seven of the baby, and now I see it's like this size. Oh. Yeah. How long does it take to them for them to become fully grown? Ah, uh, that is take um about month. A month. month. Oh, yeah. that's quite quick. Yeah. Month. And then they leave the nest straight away. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes. Yes. After baby, the baby like this size, and the baby going. Okay. Yeah. Then they are alone. Yes. And the male tarantula, it doesn't look after the children no, or the female. No. It just leaves. Yes, just just leaves. Right. Sounds yeah. about right. <laughs> We've made it back to our homestay, Mulu homestay. If you want to stay here? Is that not what it's called? It's called Mulu village. Mulu village. <laughs> it's a homestay in Mulu. Um, just a, another insanely epic day in Mulu. I don't even know where to begin. But the, that, the tarantula we just saw at the end was crazy. 
Um, I'm quite tired. I'll speak. Hello. Um, coming here, what I will say is coming here has made me want to explore even more of Borneo. Mm. You're just constantly surprised at everything you see. Like so true. Literally, like, we saw a stick and said, this big, that big. And he was like, oh, small. He's like, you get one side this big. And you're like... Every oh. time you go on a walk, every time you do anything, you see something new that you completely... You can make Even like the snails head. on the walk, the night walk, the, the mushrooms, like that. It's just, it's just the... The biodiversity here is just absolutely crazy. Absolutely but crazy. But at the same time, seeing it all here and seeing how much of it, how much of it is being destroyed is mm. really sad. Like I feel like when you're not here, you can kind of just, you know, turn a blind eye. Turn a it. blind eye. But when you're here and you're like, you see how special it is. Yeah, and you're like the orangutans literally have nowhere to swing, like because. Like you were talking about how this they're just getting trapped because where they're living, they're just building all around it and then they're just that circle is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And they don't go they don't want to go in the cities, are they? So like they just they just tell there's no land. It's really, really sad and if people don't change their way of thinking and what they're doing in this part of the world then our kids, your kids yeah, will it's never not this part of the world. Well, it's all the world, isn't it? Let's be honest. That's what I mean. um, we'll never get to enjoy this this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, what an amazing day. What was your highlight and low light? Tarantula and tarantula. Low and high. Low and high. I think the tarantula was amazing. I was really glad we saw it, especially after not seeing the bats, which was my low light. My low, low light. I can't even speak. It was my definitely my low light because. I was, I was quite sad we didn't get to see the bats but that's life and we do usually get lucky when we travel so it's probably about time we had some bad luck I think my highlight was the canopy walk I think it was meeting Nelson like we didn't again we didn't catch much of our conversations with him on films it was just so long and in depth but he was just so interesting like he really again made me just realise how special this place is and how the history of his family and everything that gone on here and again how important it is to the whole rest of the world yeah how important it is to, to preserve it yeah um anyway we're gonna go to bed I don't have anything else to say I can't form sentences so we're sleeping um thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one